you let that go. It's inappropriate. Someone tragically lost their lives. And What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And today we got to talk about Brandon Miller from Alabama, man. Now, we know that his name was brought up in the investigation of a young lady that lost her life due to gun violence. Um, now, his teammate Darius Miles and his friend, they were charged with the murder. And, you know, his friend's not on the team, but we found out later Brandon Miller was going to pick them up from the location. And he was the one that had you know, the tool in the car and it was retrieved by Darius Miles and, you know, whatever happened after that happened and now a young mother has passed away and we'd like to say rest in peace to her, man. Now, um, moving right along though, uh, today, Shannon Sharp got on Brandon Miller pretty strong and Brandon Miller, you know, he's had this celebration ever since the beginning of the season. When he comes out, when they're announcing the lineups and everything, he gets patted down, like, you know, checking to see if he got anything on him. You know, that's a star player. That's something about being a great shooter, all that, right? Being great on offense, you know. <clears throat> Anybody that's ever played basketball know you have those type of celebrations. But at this moment, and what his name is being associated with in this current time, he should probably lay off of that completely and – his coach, Nate Oates, talked about it will never happen again. Let's check out what they had to say. Well, first, I'm going to show you what he did that's in question, and then we're going to hear from Nate Oates and Shannon Sharp, and then I'll be back with my commentary. Check it out. It was brought to my attention after the game about our pregame introductions think that's something that's been going on all year I don't really know I'm not I don't watch our introductions I'm not involved with them I'm trying to plays during that time regardless it's not appropriate it's been addressed and I can assure you it definitely will not happen again the remainder of this year I understand that he had been doing this routine but skip but once you become part of a murder investigation you let that go it's inappropriate Someone tragically lost their lives into the uh, uh, the young woman's family. I am so sorry what transpired. It's senseless and it should not have happened, but it's not funny. It's not cute. And first of all, you continuously do that. What's cute? What's funny about a black man being patted down? Do you understand what's going on in America? You think that's cute? Even though you're part of an active murder investigation, you still think this is appropriate, young man? Mm. I'm glad his coach said, it was inappropriate, and it won't happen again. So I right. already knew that. But so, this is Brandon Miller we're talking No, about. sir. No, sir. G bring you what? Bruh, come on home. And I'm not going to get him. No. Because I already know, because you already told me you in some stuff. Ugh. You already told me. So now I go down there, you're going to get me in some stuff that I didn't even be a part of because I'm in my, I'm in my uh, dorm room. So I agree with a lot of what Shannon Sharp was saying, man. He's absolutely right. You have to be aware of what's happening in real time around you and the things that you used to partake in that you can't at this point. You know, um, it's probably best if he did just deactivate his Twitter and he stays off of social media for a while because, look, this thing is it's one of those things where it's not over to us over. Yeah, they saying they're not charging him right now, but going forward, he could be charged at any moment. And. I would just stay far away from any behavior, anything like that that gives all bad vibes. Because look, what he has to realize is that he's still in the city of the lady that has passed away, right? He's he's still in the same city where her family is. If that's where that young lady's from, you know. So you got people around that still love her, love her. So just thinking that everybody in Alabama loves you. It, that that's wrong too you know so you don't need to do anything to instigate it because people looking at you like look at this athlete you know he getting away with murder it, like literally just because he can play basketball I, I ought to do something to him you know you got people with that mind state looking at him like man so he needs to be very remorseful and even if he wasn't thinking about that situation but it's kind of hard to imagine that 
it doesn't cross his mind on the regular right now. That's why I feel like it's tasteful. It's not like something you could accidentally do. You would have to think about what you went through as it pertains to any gesture like that, you know. Now, he's played great basketball, but that's not what I'm here to talk about right now. And I feel like, you know, if it was if it was someone who couldn't play, I feel like they wouldn't have as many privileges as he has right now. I'll put it like that. And I don't think that's right, you know. Uh, the whole time that this is going on with this lady, we have to just, I don't care how good of a basketball player he is, you know, if he knew something was going down and he drove there with a firearm still and and honestly the guy that was with his former teammate Darius Miles was trying to push up on the guy who was driving the vehicle's girlfriend and so I mean he got sh you know he shot back eventually but his girlfriend was hit several times and once you know in the face and that's what ultimately claimed her life. I mean, this isn't something we gloss over, but people are so fanatical. We enjoy sports so much that we can just zip past this because he can shoot a basketball. And that that part about the human experience sometimes is a little bit much for me when we look over a person just because they don't have the skill set or they don't do nothing we enjoy to watch so much it doesn't sting as bad like if the tables was turned and somebody brought a, a weapon to to take him out um we'd want to know who was all associated with it you know don't let nobody off the hook until we know everything about everything i'm not saying penalize him for the rest of his life but we would want to know all the intricate details if the table was turned and he was the victim of that crime, you know. So that that's all I'm saying. And that for somebody like if that's your sister or that's your um, cousin or whatever, you gonna want to know why this man is playing if he is the one that brought the firearm that night. Um, now whether he fired it or not. If he had prior knowledge that it was going down and he supplied the weapon, I just, you know, I don't know where to go from there, you know. I don't know where to go from there, man. I don't, I don't know what course of action should be taken, but I feel like um, at the very least, he should be out right now. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. Peace.